Are you ready to kickstart your week with some dirt sling and tire slaying action motorsports radio that packs the biggest guests? All right, Ken Block here. Hey, my name's Jolene Van Butte. What's up, Brian Deegan? Vaughn Ginn Jr. here. They've been thrown into one show that has broken down the barriers of what a motorsports radio show should be. This is the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor, with support from General Tire, KMC Wheels, Dirtfish, Gibson Exhaust, and MTX Audio, with your host, who also happens to spend his weekends flying 800 horsepower trucks through the dirt, Jim Beaver. When was the last time you saw an off-roader rally driver begging to get behind the wheel of a NASCAR IndyCar? Yep, not happening, but you sure see these pavement racers begging to drive our cars. And his partner in crime every week, a self-proclaimed Canadian moto chick who was jumping triples and taking podiums before most guys could learn to ride. Amy Hood. No one knows how to say my last name. Like, is it really that hard? Amy Hood, like I'm from the hood. Don't get it twisted. Sit back, strap in, and be prepared to join us as we take you through a motorsports ride like no other. Here is the man who carries a steering wheel in one hand and a mic in the other, Jim Beaver. Man, oh man, do we have an awesome show for you today here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. And uh, Jim Beaver here, and I got to tell you, for some reason, I am amped to do radio this week. I don't know. I just feel uh, feel energized, man, and it's a good week to be energized. Uh, we've got David Higgins on the line. Uh, I say one of the greatest rally drivers uh, in the world, eight-time champ, six straight North American or, uh, or Rally America championships. Uh, dude's uh, record speaks, uh, speaks for itself. We've got the GRC Lights winner. Uh, on air in our uh, in our GRC curtain call segment, Connor Martell. He's going to be calling in uh, from up there at Dirtfish Rally School. And then our number two, we've got my good friend R.J. Anderson, my Polaris Razor teammate. We're going to be breaking down the 2017 Polaris Razor turbos that dropped the end of last week. Really pumped to do that. Something we've all been waiting for for a long time. And, uh, you know, stoked to finally have them out in the wild, be able to talk about it. Also talking some short course and everything else. We'll have Joe Duncan calling in. We've got Stadium Super Trucks to talk about. World Rally Cross. Uh, we had score in action, obviously Red Bull GRC. I don't know. We got a packed show, two hours, hang tight. It's going to be one heck of a ride here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When R.J. Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. R.J. is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the Wall of Death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder RJ Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. For over 100 years, General Tires provided tires for your lifestyle and your adventure. From the ultra-high-performance G-Max AS03 to the all-new Grabber X3 for extreme mud, dirt, and rock, General Tire has a tire that will help get you there. Between September 1st and October 15th, receive a Visa rebate card for up to $70 with the purchase of four qualifying General Tires. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com. And remember, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. 
Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount. MTX Audio is the leader in sound. Whether you're looking for high-quality all-weather motorsports audio products like sound bars, amplifiers, and speakers that will work on any UTV or motorcycle, need to dial in your car home with high-performance audio solutions, or are looking for a new portable speaker or set of headphones, MTX Audio has what you need to get your project sounding as good as it looks. MTX Audio is a family-owned American manufacturer who has been in business for over 40 years. Check out the full line of products at MTX.com. Well, welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. Uh, Jim Beaver here flying solo this week. Uh, I'm a good friend and uh, partner in crime, Amy Hood. She is uh, off on an adventure, the same adventure that uh, we've been telling you about for quite some time that we really can't speak about. I promise at some point, uh, this isn't all made up in our head. Um, We will uh, definitely get to that, uh, you know, at some point when she's ready to talk about it. But I wanted to start the show off today, uh, you know, something really, uh, really sad, uh, you know, happened last uh, week and those of you that read the media, I mean, this ta- this went mainstream um, because of the family, um, and it was all over, I mean, the front page of just about every website in the country, um, but, uh, you know, the off-road community and motorsports community uh, lost Baja Bob Gordon. Uh, I'm not going to speak on, uh, you know, the reasons or this or the that. I mean, there's a million different stories going on, and, uh, you know, there's conspiracy theories and this and that. Well, at the end of the day... Uh, none of that really matters because, uh, you know, we, the, the community has lost, uh, a true legend, uh, you know, a guy that, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to meet, uh, if you go back in our archives, I had the opportunity of having him on this radio show. Um, and you know, his son, Robbie, uh, you know, those of you obviously know Robbie Gordon is a, is a good friend of mine, good personal friend. And, uh, um, I, I just got to say, uh, you know, my heart is with, uh, the Gordon family right now. Um, it's, I can only imagine, uh, what they're going through and, uh, you know, and that's, that's about it. I just, uh, heartbreaking that, uh, the off-road community lost a true legend, um, you know, and, and Bob, I mean, you know, amazing, amazing kids. I mean, you look at, uh, Robbie and then you've got Becky and Robin and Haley and, uh, I mean, the list goes on, you know, it's, um, uh, definitely very sad. So, uh, thoughts and prayers right now going out to, uh, uh, the Gordon family, uh, hoping, uh, you know, hoping they can, uh, make it through this and, uh, come out on the other side, um, you know, with a, with somehow with a positive light, but, uh, yeah, off-road community losing Baja Bob Gordon, not, uh, not easy to stomach by any means, but, um, I guess the, the silver lining in all this, uh, I will, uh, will say Robbie Gordon, uh, you know, he's, he, uh, show must go on Robbie and both his, uh, Bob's son-in-law, Ryan Hunter Ray in action this past weekend. Uh, Robbie taking one of the victories there at Stadium Super Trucks. Uh, so uh, definitely a positive, uh, you know, I guess if you can take one out of the weekend was uh, was that. But, uh, uh, yeah, moving on, uh, you know, big uh, big news for me. Uh, those of you, uh, hopefully uh, you tuned in to my new podcast, Podcast One, uh, Jim Beaver's Project Action. Uh, we had uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Block on uh, – on episode number one with me, and it was a little bit different interview than Ken and I have ever done before. Uh, you know, and I think um, a lot of you going, "What did you start a second show for?" This and that, and I, I'm going to tell you, you're going to see. There's, there's a reason, man. I, everything I do, there's thought and theory, and I put a lot of theory into this, right? And it purposely doesn't have the down and dirty radio show name. I, you know, everybody's, "Oh, you got to call it more dirty or this or that." No, nope. different. Uh, there's going to be crossover and guests, uh, you know, and uh, but we're going to talk about different things. And as you'll see with Ken Block, we dove into action sports and marketing and media, a lot of stuff we can't talk about on this weekly show. So uh, those of you that uh, did tune in, thank you. Uh, you can get it on Podcast One, the Podcast One app. 
uh, or it's now available on iTunes. And I also am throwing up a player on my website. So those of you tuning in to Down and Dirty Radio Show at, uh, at the current website, downanddirtyshow.com, you can get it there. But uh, um, it is on iTunes as of yesterday. Uh, it took a couple days to get it up on iTunes. It is. Please go and rate and subscribe. Same goes for the Down and Dirty Radio Show. But uh, we want to grow this. We really want to grow it. I can tell you episode number two dropping this Thursday. And uh, my guest on episode number two, I mean, we're coming out swinging with this new show, uh, Jason Ellis. Uh, that's right, Ellis, mate. Uh, he was uh, my guest on episode number two that drops, and uh, we already did the interview. And I got to tell you, it was a fun one, man. Jason and I, um, for only ever of meeting in person once, man, we, we know each other pretty well. We've emailed a lot and things like that, but uh uh, the dude, uh, it, was, it was a fun interview. We talked everything from Ken Block to BJ Baldwin to uh, Brian Deegan. I don't know, man. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Ronda Rousey. We we were all over the grid skateboarding and uh, MMA and boxing and a lot of racing talk and uh, about how <laughs> him and I both had crashes. I don't know. You're gonna want to miss it. Don't you? Don't want to miss it. You don't. Yeah. You you're gonna want to miss it. Trust me. You don't want to miss this one. Uh, Jason Ellis on with me. Project Action drops this Thursday, so please tune into that. Then, uh, I guess the the big news, I guess some of the most exciting, man, we had a lot of stuff happening uh, this, this past week, a ton since I've been on air. Uh, the 2017 Polaris Razor XP Turbos are out in the wild. Well, I don't know if they're out in the wild at your local dealership yet, but uh, the pictures and all the stats are, are, are out in the wild. I am so Flipping excited for these things. Uh, yeah, I know. Flipping, right? Yeah. We're, 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 we're on terrestrial radio. I can't say how I really feel about it. But, uh, no, the Polaris Razor turbos out in the wild. And Polaris, you know, everybody was talking, you know, going into this deal about K&M and this and that. Oh, changing the game. And they're doing this and they're doing that. I got to tell you, my boys at Polaris Razor, they just sat back, sat back, let everybody play their hands, let everybody play their hands. And K&M plays their hand. Yamaha played their hand. Arctic Cat played their hand. Razor just sit back, sitting back. All the cards are out on the table. Bam! Razor drops the knockout punch. 168 horsepower. We're talking in a Polaris Razor. Uh, they upgraded everything, the cooling system. Pretty much every gripe you had, they 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 fixed it. I mean, they, they upgraded, you know, engines want more horsepower. They upgraded the cooling system. Uh, they went to the clutching, bigger belts. You're not going to blow belts anymore. Uh, I mean, what, what else do we go? We, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg here. The steering rack. Uh, a lot of guys like me, I, I like a, a faster steering like my trophy truck, right? They went, went and put a, a speeder into the stock rack, one and a half to one steering. You don't have to buy that $600, $700 steering speeder now. It's there from the factory. I mean, Polaris Razor literally um, knockout punch. Uh, they just sat back, sat back, waited, 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 boom, dropped the bomb and uh, silenced everyone. And I got to tell you, I am ridiculously excited to uh, get in one of these. And um, RJ Anderson is going to be calling in later on in the show. And uh, RJ, I'm sure, is going to have – He's. Ha- I haven't I, I had a chance to wheel one yet. RJ has. So uh, I'm pretty sure that RJ is going to uh, – He's going to have plenty to talk about, and I, I can't wait to pick his brain. I know uh, I challenged him. He didn't answer me last night, so I'm going to put him on spot today. I said, I know we're both going to be getting one of these things. Dude, I want to have a build-off. I want to have a build-off. Jim Beaver versus R.J. Anderson. Heck, we'll throw throw anybody else in there that wants to, too. I mean, I know Renner will be building one, Bryce Menzies. Let's let's have a build off, man. Let's you know let's all do it to it and see uh, see who can come out on top with the with the best uh, XP turbo build for 2017. I don't know. I think it be could be fun, but uh, anyways, we'll we'll put RJ on the spot on that. We'll get something organized, but I think it'll be a uh, be a ton of fun to have some kind of build off or something. I mean, chances are RJ he's he's probably gonna win. I, I'll, I'll wave the white flag already. RJ's probably gonna win the build off, but it would still be fun to do. So uh, I don't know. We're, we'll see when we get RJ on air. But, uh, man, I don't know. It's been a heck of a week. Uh, uh, Red Bull GRC, we're going to talk about that later on in the show. Uh, they were up there in Seattle. Uh, you know, anybody that uh, anybody that knows rally uh, knows that uh, the northwest and the northeast are kind of the two hotbeds for rally in this country. I mean, there's other spots in Michigan, some spots in the Midwest, but really uh, north northwest, northeast, and both of those are Subaru country. I mean, like Subaru, the official 
car of the Northeast, the Northwest, and Colorado. And that's straight up the truth right there. Uh, nobody's going to argue that. Uh, Subarus everywhere, and there's a good reason for it. Uh, you know, Subarus are uh, they're badass in, uh, in the cold weather. So, uh, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Rallycross there in uh, – in the north uh, northwest up there in Seattle, uh, debut round there at uh, Evergreen. Uh, you know, all the past rounds I've had up there have been at Dirtfish. Moving to Evergreen Speedway, sounds like uh, things went well. It was nice and wet and muddy. Uh, but we've got a lot to talk about there. And then score in, uh, in Mexico, a new event, Rosarito Desert Challenge. They can call it whatever they want. I think they call it the 20-something annual or whatever. Eh, it's first annual. I don't care. Uh, they're just rebranding the Laughlin name over there. Uh, you know, you can't have a 20th annual event that's the first time it's ever run somewhere. I'm sorry. I like your score, but nah, fail on that, dude. Just call it first annual Rosarito Desert Challenge. You don't get to keep 21st annual when you move something 500 miles away doesn't work that way anyways uh, if that isn't a way to get this show started i don't know what is we're gonna take a short commercial break we come back grc curtain call we got connor martell on the line here on the down and dirty radio show powered by polaris razor i'm polaris rider lee Valley valley and i choose polaris just because they have the best quality highest performing most fun machines out there only one company has taken Levi Valley to 10 X Games medals, snowcross championships, a double backflip, and a world record long jump of 412 feet across the San Diego Harbor on New Year's Eve, and that company is Polaris. Whether it's dominating the X Games, racing a stock Polaris Razor XP1000 in the Terracross Championship, or just hitting the trail on the weekend, for over 20 years, Levi has relied on the same quality Polaris vehicles and products you can purchase at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of action sports legend Levi LaValle and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Are you looking for a place to push yourself behind the wheel and see how your driving skills stack up? Dirtfish Rally School is that place. Located on 315 acres of pristine automotive playground at the foot of the Cascade Mountains in Snoqualmie, Washington, right outside of Seattle, Dirtfish Rally School is a one-of-a-kind place where everyone from first-time drivers to seasoned professionals like Bucky Lassick and Antoine Lestage can push themselves to their limit. Whether driving the high-performance rally-prepped all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza STI is what you're looking for, or you'd rather hang it all out in the rear-wheel drive Subaru BR Z's, Dirtfish Rally School has something for everyone. Classes are available from two hours to three full days and feature instructors with over 150 years of combined racing experience. Whether you're looking to become the best and get an edge on the competition or just looking to freshen your skills behind the wheel, Dirtfish Rally School is the place to go. For more information on registering for classes, visit Dirtfish on the web at dirtfish.com or to check out the latest happenings from Dirtfish, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dirtfish Rally. For over 100 years, General Tires provided tires for your lifestyle and your adventure. From the ultra-high-performance G-Max AS03 to the all-new Grabber X3 for extreme mud, dirt, and rock, General Tire has a tire that will help get you there. Between September 1st and October 15th, receive a Visa rebate card for up to $70 with the purchase of four qualifying General Tires. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com. And remember, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. I'd like to welcome my next guest to the line in our Red Bull GRC curtain call segment. Uh... My Dirtfish uh, Rally, I guess we call him teammate. I don't know what we call you, but anyways, uh, Dirtfish Rally uh, School's lights driver, Connor Martell. How's everything going, Connor? It's going good, man. How are you? Doing uh, doing well. I guess uh, things are probably really good for you uh, coming off of victory at, uh, I guess, at your home event there, Dirtfish's home event uh, up there in Seattle. Got to be really excited about that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was actually a... Uh... 
an amazing event. Uh, I slept the whole weekend. Um, it went really well being able to win in front of all the fans and all of Dirtfish. Yeah. Well, and, and take us through this year. I know, uh, you know, you had a victory earlier in the year. I know, really, you know, uh, up until last year, I know you'd had a, a little bit of experience. You, you jumped in a, a lights car last year uh, for some rounds. But uh, this year, I mean, coming in, jumping in, I mean, what were the what were the plans? I mean, uh, you know, I know this was your full season in lights. you got to be really excited with the way the season's gone so far. Yeah, the season's gone really good. Uh, opening race in – in Phoenix, I got second, and then uh, won round two in Phoenix. So uh, it went really well. And then we've had a, a few bad luck incidents uh, in the middle of the season with a little bit of car issues and stuff like that. But we uh, figured it all out, and we were able to uh, do really good in Evergreen. And it's all coming down to L.A. Me and four drivers are only four, 40 points uh, apart. So it's going to be an exciting finale. Yeah. Well, and that being said, the finale, it's not just one round, it's two rounds there. And and I know, you know, talking with some other drivers, I mean, the double headers are, uh, there's so much that goes on because you want to be able to push hard. But then at the end of the day, if you destroy your car in the first of the two double headers, it really makes you take, you know, a step backwards for the second one. I mean, what, what kind of strategy goes into a double header weekend, especially with a championship being on the line? Yeah, you know, with with the championship being on the line, it's going to be, it's going to be hard to not push the the first day, you know, like we need to, we have to do good on the first day, but the car also has to be uh, properly still good for the second day. So it's going to be the, the strategy is to try and keep the, the car in one piece, but we definitely have to do whatever it takes on that first day to get a win in order to uh, get up uh, up top on the points. Yeah, well, and how has this year, I mean, played out for you? Because going in, you took a victory earlier on in the year, but, uh, you know, you've been fast all year long. But how has it played out for you? I mean, how's the learning curve been? Obviously, we know you're there at Dirtfish Rally School. You're able to, uh, you know, to get a lot of training in. They've got They've actually, I think you guys are the only program in the paddock that actually has a lights car there where you can actually get seat time, you know, away from your race car. I mean, how has that been to accelerate this learning curve? Yeah, it's. Being having a lights car at Dirtfish and being with the Dirtfish program is is amazing because, like you said, no one else has a has a practice lights car that they can just go out and and drive. You know, so uh, the beginning of the year, I I drove a bunch before the season, and then I've I've been able to get in the car even after the races and work on what needed to be worked on after whatever race weekend it was. So being able to do that has helped this whole year. And, you know, like you said, I, I've had the speed all year. It's been good. Um, rally cross is all about good luck and bad luck. So everyone's had their bad luck, especially me. Um, but hopefully hopefully we can keep it together for the the last of, last two events in L.A. Yeah. Well, and, and regardless of the way things turn out, I mean, I, you know, I, I, me personally, I obviously, uh, you know, I'm, I'm flying the dirt fish flag here and I'm, I'm pulling for you, but one way or another, I mean, are we going to see you back in a, in a car in 2017? Uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely, uh, now that the season's almost coming to an end, we're, we're, uh, definitely poking an eye into 2017, you know, me and Dirtfish have been talking about it. So, we're, we'll see what happens. I'll definitely probably be in a in a full ride again for next year. Um, we'll just have to see how it all plans out after LA. Yeah. Well, and uh, you know that being said, I know uh, here at this last round at uh, Dirtfish's home event, uh, uh, a good friend of mine and obviously yours, James Rimmer, uh, jumped in. Dirtfish adding a second lights car. I mean, how is that? You know, you've been running all year long. All of a sudden, you take on a teammate. I know I had James on air last week, and he was telling me you guys are are pretty good friends away from things. I mean, how is that adding another car into the paddock and you know and, and you know into the situation? It was great. It it brought a lot more excitement to our paddock, you know, with two cars. It's more exciting, you know. Uh, it's it's it was a little less stressful for me, kind kind of say, because I was carrying the colors the whole season for Dirtfish, and having having someone else that I'm really good friends with um, racing with me was really really nice because you can talk about the track together, you can help each other out on stuff, you can look at his in-car video and see what he's doing somewhere and he can look at mine you know and we 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 tested together 
so like driving together we get to see what what each other are doing so it's it's uh it's really, really nice to have a teammate. Yeah, it's got to be pretty fun having a teammate. Both of you are kind of the young guns of uh, the lights class, and then uh, both of you being friends. I mean, it's kind of uh, kind of a dream job, right? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a dream job, you know, the, especially getting along with the person you're racing with is, is definitely key. And uh, he's a super nice kid. He's good in the car. Uh, you know, hopefully me and him can do a couple rallies together also, but but yeah, and he'll be racing in LA, so it's gonna be hopefully just like, uh, hopefully it goes just as well as it did in Evergreen, and hopefully he can, he can do good in LA. Yeah, that that was what I was gonna ask. You know, James, he's done some stage rally stuff. Obviously, Dirtfish has got some stage rally cars uh, sitting there. I know. Obviously, you have really deep ties to a Vermont sports car. So I was gonna gonna ask, is that is that what we're gonna see next? Maybe Connor Martell doing uh, doing a few stage rallies here and there. Man, I, I'd love to. There was talk about it this year, but it's been it's been so so busy with uh, with the GRC. So hopefully, maybe at the after the season ends, maybe I can do a couple stage rallies, which I've always wanted to do. It looks so much fun, you know. But uh, right now, the focus is definitely on. Um, on GRC. Yeah. Well, that being said, I mean, what, what can you, obviously you got ties to Vermont sports car. You're there at dirt fish. I mean, there's a guy like David Higgins who's involved with both. I mean, you know, and, and he's been, you know, with Subaru for a long time, obviously, uh, you know, close family friend, I'm assuming. I mean, is there anything you can learn from a guy like David Higgins? I mean, a guy that he can jump in a GRC car and be fast, a stage rally car and be fast. We saw Jim Connor grid a couple of years ago, David jumped in there out of the blue and was one of the fastest. I mean, what can you take away from a guy like that? Yeah, you, I mean, he's helped me out a bunch this year. Before the season started, when we tested at Evergreen, uh, he he showed me a lot. He's a super good teacher, and uh, he's definitely a family friend. Me and him always are talking and texting, and uh, him being at the races helps a lot too. Because after my races and his races, we would we would talk about the track and stuff like that. So uh, having him on board with uh, Team Subaru is is really a help. Yeah. Well, I gotta gotta ask too. Uh, here's something, and and this is something I learned when I was out at uh, GRC Phoenix round. I was out there, and Dirtfish had me out, and and stuff like that. And uh, you know, I was hanging out and talking, and Mac and I were talking, and then uh, all of a sudden, you you know, he introduced you to me to your mom, and I kind of heard of her. I I didn't. I, I finally took me like two and two to put it together, but I was gonna say I didn't realize, man, you got some uh, some some you know X Games medals floating around the household there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my mom. Uh co-drove for Travis in the X Games. Uh, I forget what year it was. I think it was 2009 or something. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, she was able to to get a gold medal with Travis that year. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, my family's got quite a bit of history behind it. Yeah, it's got to be kind of an interesting dynamic there. Uh, uh, you know, with Vermont and then your mom and, and everything else. I mean, you can you have so many assets at your disposal where you can just pick their brain and ask questions and, and things like that. I mean, it's definitely a unique situation. You're pretty pretty blessed to be in a situation like that. Yeah, I'm 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 very grateful for everything that that I have and that's happened over the the past couple of years and for the people that I know and and everything. It should it should really help me with my career in the future. Yeah. That being said, I mean, your career and your future, obviously, you know, we're, we're, you know, full rookie season this year at GRC Lights. You're battling for the championship. I mean, three years out, five years out. I mean, where, where do we want to see Connor Martell? Are you interested in, you know, pursuing the rally, you know, direction? You want to go into a supercar at some point? I mean, do you have some other motorsports you'd like to try out? Where, what's the future for Connor Martell? Uh, you know, I, uh, my, I hope, hopefully my future is just all motorsports and racing. Um, you know, I'd I'd like to stay in the in the lights class a couple more years because depending on what offers I get, but it, staying in the lights class I think will benefit me the most because you learn more in the lights class than than anything else because it's it's like a you have to you have to drive good in order to do good. So I think if I stay in the lights class longer, it'll benefit me in the future in whatever racing I do, you know, ho I'd love, I want to be in a supercar. That's what every, every lights driver wants, you know, but, uh, I'd be, I'd, I'd like to do rally GRC. I'd like to do a couple of the FIA world rally cross races, which I'm actually going to Latvia next week to do, uh, 
to do the FIA World Rally Cross in the lights car. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you know that's what's funny. You mentioned that, and and it's super smart. I mean, a lot of respect for for you saying that. It's lights is is kind of one of those interesting things where you know obviously there there's a lot of teams like Dirtfish that that prep their cars at an elite level and and have some setups. But at the end of the day, it's really about driver. You know, a lot of series, it's all about how much money you can throw at something. You know what I mean to be faster. And and lights, you know, if you're a couple seconds off the pace, it's it's the driver. It's not necessarily the car because the guy you're banging doors with has got you know the same thing that you do pretty much yeah exactly you know all the motors are the exact same in the lights car the only thing you can change is your car set up with uh with how you set the suspension up and stuff like that so that's also a big help for the future uh of supercars or anything because you learn exactly what you need to do to the car in order to go faster it's not just about having 600 horsepowers to make up your mistake yeah for sure well, I appreciate you taking the time, Connor. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, we'll definitely be uh, be watching there in L.A. at that doubleheader. Good luck, and uh, hopefully you can bring home a championship for yourself and Dirtfish. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jim. All right. Thanks, Connor. And we'll be back after this on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it. So when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris. Polaris Razor. For over 100 years, General Tires provided tires for your lifestyle and your adventure. From the ultra high performance G Max AS03 to the all new Grabber X3 for extreme mud, dirt, and rock, General Tire has a tire that will help get you there. Between September 1st and October 15th, receive a Visa rebate card for up to $70 with the purchase of four qualifying General Tires. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com. And remember, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Life is all about sound. The sound of sports. The sound of the racetrack. And the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Since 1970, Casey Highlights has been designing and manufacturing performance lighting for off-road and motorsports. Beginning with the legendary Daylighter up until today's revolutionary Flex, Pod, and Pro 6 lighting systems, Casey Highlights offers a full line of halogen, HID, and LED lighting solutions for your off-road vehicle. Looking for the best quality lighting? Looking for the brand champions choose? You're looking for KC Highlights. Find out more information at kchighlights.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at KC highlights the subaru wrx and wrx sti a 268 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine rockets the wrx around corners and down straightaways a race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine keeps the wrx sti a rally legend the subaru wrx and wrx sti it's not a sibling rivalry it's a tag team Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. Uh, I'd like to welcome my next guest to the line, my good friend and uh, 
I guess fellow uh, Subaru aficionado. I don't know, David. You're a little bit higher up the up the food chain than I am, but uh, I'd like to welcome David Higgins to the air. Uh, how's everything going, David? Yeah, no, it's um, really good. Um, just coming off a strong weekend at GRC for the team, um, preparing for a long flight home. But always in this game, you know, you're always focusing on the next event. So some big plans and trying to get things ready. So. You know the game. We have we have a long season, but you you never you never stop, and you're always sort of trying to plan what what's coming next and what's around the corner. Yeah, well, and I know uh, you know one uh, one stage rally left this year. Uh, you know, got to talk uh, before we talk about GRC. Got to talk a, a bit about Rally America. I know uh, uh, season started off a little bit different than normal for you guys. Uh, you know, missing uh, missing snowdrift. I know Bucky ended up uh, running a super production car there, but uh, came out swinging. Uh, what is this? Your sixth straight uh, national championship? Yeah, yeah, it's six straight and eight in total from eight goes. So um, it's been, like you say, it's been a different year with when we started, and then under eight it didn't go to plan when we hit the water crossing. But you know, since then we've really got everything together and um, had a really strong, strong last part of the season. And still, still one round to go. It's one of my favourite events of the make the day here. So it's all, all still, to, still a lot of fun to be had, but the the um, the championship's done, the, the, the box is ticked, so now we can sort of let our hair down and enjoy ourselves a bit more. Yeah. Well, and that being said, I know Rally America, it's been a bit different this year. I mean, in the past, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of been a revolving door about, you know, as far as competitors for you and, and things like that go. And, you know, and you'd have, uh, you know, obviously this year, Yeoman's not racing, but Block would show up to some and others. I mean, this year, pretty consistently, you've had competition, but it's kind of a weird angle where it's your teammate, Travis Pastrana, but he hasn't let you off the hook very easy this year. I mean, you guys have had uh, had some pretty good battles amongst the amongst the Subaru team. Yeah, no, this year, like, um, the, the, the early events, Hundred Acre and uh, Oregon, you know, both events are sort of very fast and not easy stages to take much time out of somebody. You know, it's always going to be close. So it really encourages a very close battle, and you give Travis even a sniff of winning, and um, he's like a rat of the drain pipe. He's not going to let go. <laughs> so those events really go into his favour, and you know, we played the game maybe a little bit wrong on those tactically. We could have done something a little bit different. Um, which I'll keep to myself for a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at the same time, once we got over those and got to some of the more technical rallies, um, our pace got a bit better and things happened. And obviously, then Travis had a, a couple of accidents. And it, it, it will last you, you know, on paper, but he's, he's one of those guys that, you know, every, his life is a competition. If you, if you go out for a meal, there has to be some sort of competition somewhere. You go to drink with a competition somewhere. He's just a fierce competitor, so it's hard as a driver when you're the biggest competition with your own teammate because you almost need to try and keep things back. But then, as a teammate, you don't want to be doing that. So, you know, me and Travis are really good friends, but the second we get our helmets on, we both want to want to beat each other bad. So, it makes it harder for me. I'd much rather race somebody else, but you know, he, he's the one there that's there at the moment. So, I've just got to try and find different ways of. of of beating him. Like in the past, you work with your team and you work on the setup and all your information. But when your biggest rival gets that exact same information, then you know you're losing some of your weapons to the fight. So it's different, but he's, it's good and it's been it's been a good year. Yeah. Well, and I know at one point uh, it was out at one of the rallies, and you looked at me, and and we were laughing about it. You know, it was all in good fun. But you had said, you know, because you you were younger. You know, Travis's beginning of his career. I mean, you you kind of were his mentor. You know, and still this day, I think he learns a lot from you. And and at one point, you look at me and you go, "Man, I wish I wouldn't have uh, taught him as much as uh, as much as I did." Right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm, you know. Some people in my nature are, are, are better for health than others, and some guys I go to and think that, and I make a real effort to try not to give anything away and keep things a little bit back. And the second you go there and meet him, he's like, he's just such a pure guy and open that you can't help it. It's like, I've not done it again. <laughs> it's, um, it, 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 it's good fun, and, and you know, he, 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 he has the persona of being very much a turn up, jump in the car, and go for it. But, you know, I know, and you know, he puts a lot more work into that. And, you know, his his biggest goal in rallying is to, is to beat me at the moment. That's his main focus for for me as being the guy that's won so much. I'm in a pretty much a no win situation. If I win the rally, I'm almost half expecting to win the rally. If I don't win the rally or even the stage, you know, everybody's jumping on there. Oh, yeah, um, Travis has won that three, and I'm like, okay, I might have won seven before that. But it's it's it, it, it's harder. It's, it's, although the, the pressure for me is almost much more now than when I was actually battling kind of the championship um, in 2013 and we had the full-on dogfight. So it's, just, it's a different 
kind of pressure, but it's probably probably more and it's probably more difficult for me now than it was then. Well, and, and you know, and, and talking about Subaru, I know uh, you know. Obviously, we, last year, kind of at the end of last year, we saw you uh, you know run uh, run some GRC rounds. Uh, back this year, uh, looks like uh, you know we had you up there uh, w- with Dirtfish Branding at their home event up there in Seattle. Uh, I know they've been a, a sponsor, uh, you know, for for quite some time, in the, you know, of yours, and uh, obviously their sponsor Subaru. And I know you, you and Steve Rimmer there at Dirtfish are, are good personal friends. Uh, you know, how, how take us through this weekend because I know I, I was looking at your times. I mean, it seemed like your times are on pace. It was just another one of those bad luck kind of scenarios, right? Yeah, sure. Um, right from the first practice, um, you know, I haven't been in this new shape TRC car and like the events I did before was always in the, the 2014 car so it was good to get into this car I actually went to the event with, with 15 laps under my belt in it so we didn't really do any proper testing it was just a case of have a quick quick drive of it make sure if I was up having a rough idea and we went to our first practice and the, you know, the car felt pretty good and we made some some changes and um, the car got better and we, we were on pace weather changed so we had to sort of change things again a little bit caught out for the first few times on Saturday when it, when it rains. You know, the, the, the first few times the Friday night, I was conscious of not getting in a wreck early on the weekend like I had done in previous events, whether it's someone else's fault or not. I, I want to keep the car in good shape, knowing that the semi final of the race where you have to, have to get it through. But both Chris and myself sort of worked the same direction on set up and made big improvements. And rather than being you know, right to the back, we were, we were looking for tents to try and get up there. We both felt we had cars that were definitely um, podium podium cars right from the start. And the semi-final went good. We got up into um, we were comfortably in the second, and then it's unfortunately a, a wheel scrape because the dirt was so bad, cut through a wheel and actually wore the wheel in half. And then um, on the last turn, it split the wheel in half, and made, I cut the wall and um, actually damaged some suspension bits. But we got across to finish, but dropped a third, but that was still an automatic one in the final. So, you know, for the, for the Subaru teams, have both their cars in the A final without having to go through last time's qualifier was a, was a really good. Good results, and then when it came to the final, had a cracking start, and I think we got up into fourth, and we were sitting there um, comfortably. And then obviously, just partly through the race, um, we had a, a rear half shaft failure, which you know was probably something to do with what happened on the, the semi-final when when we had the damage. Then, but it's just you know there's loads of in this game, loads of if buts and maybe. So we had all in prime, which was really disappointing as an overview. We, the, the car was there, it, it, it was it was probably the great still so. Looking forward ahead, I think it's gonna. There's a lot of potential there. So. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and you know, speaking to this new uh, GRC car, I mean, I know. Uh you know, at this point, a lot of people are aware of some of the struggles, you know, with, with last year's car and, uh, you know, and Subaru and, and Subaru Rally Team USA basically went back to the drawing board from scratch and uh, and redesigned this car. I mean, uh, you know, obviously this year, I mean, Subaru was pretty open in, in the beginning and saying, hey, this this is a year we're going to develop this car. I mean, you know, you've been in this car now and you've been around, you know, the past, uh, you know, Subaru, uh, you know, rallycross cars. I mean, moving forward, I mean, is this a championship contender next year? Next it's difficult, I think. So depending on the events and like this this event was was a, was very good for us. Like we, we know before our, like our weakest areas, we don't quite have the powers that the other cars were against to have. And but that said, in the weekend we, we knew we couldn't do anything about that. So both Chris and myself really focused on making the rest of the package as strong as it can be. If we if we can um, get some development on the engine and then we can get some. Um, you know, keep working on the on the ideas that we've got from this weekend, and for sure we, we need to be up there all the time. But you know, it's different from you know we've been at the back previously. We're now up there in you know the top half. But to be a championship contender, you is is is, is tough because you know the DWs for sure have a um, they've got the they've got the job very very well sorted at the moment, and it's it's hard. But you know, once you start getting in there and fighting with them, then the stronger the competition gets for the DW, the more chances there are for them to. Or the slip up at the moment when you've know, got someone that can run away, then it's harder for it makes it easier for them and harder for everybody else. So, you know, things can get spiced up a little bit when you throw some different brands in there and some different cars. So, who knows? I wouldn't want to say yes, we can go and, we can go and fight for it, but to sure that the package is, is better than what I was expecting it to be when I got a to start with. Yeah. Well, how, how is it coming into an event like this? I mean, obviously, you know, your, your background is stage rally, but, you know, you've proven yourself, you know, to be really proficient on tarmac. And I know, uh, 
uh, you know, obviously, you know, you've done ve- very well at the Jim Connor Grid event that you uh, that you did at Hex Games a couple years ago. Uh, you know, you're always on pace in GRC. I know this event was something unique. There was, you know, I know, I think it was in your social media. You were saying there's those big bank turns, and it was taking you a bit to to kind of get adjusted to that and and how you know how how to push through that corner. I mean, how, how, it's got to be exciting for you. I mean, you look at stage mile after stage mile after stage mile, and then you can come into GRC, and it, it's something totally different that challenges you as a driver. Definitely, you know, it's like the side to side racing, it doesn't worry me at all because I've got a lot of go karts and experience. I still drive them and do some racing, and then like, right the way through my career, I've never really stopped doing that. The, the banking was something very, very different, and I wouldn't say I was intimidated by it, but it was, I had no previous knowledge what to, what to do. You know, you, you, me and Chris were trying to watch videos of one other people were there, like in different series, what they do and what line they were taking. But, GRC cars are a lot different to our, to our last car. Like people, so the confidence definitely grew, and you know we were able to try some different. In the final, I got a little bit wider going into turn one, which was a real big bank turn. And it wasn't a place where I wanted to be, but I had no option, and I just, you know, you just keep your foot in and hope you pick up quick before you hit the wall. And, and that's what happened. And we got a real good slingshot down. So you know, we all laugh as you know rally drivers or race drivers. So it's just oval stuff and just turning left and going around in circles. There's a lot more to it. Than, and meet the eye we found out, so I might have to give um, Travis a bit more credit next time I see him after his mass car driving. <laughs> Uh, well, and, and I know this year's been a pretty fun year for you. Obviously, doing some GRC and that. I know you went over to China earlier uh, earlier this year. I know your your brother Mark was was doing uh, Isle of Man, uh, setting a record there. His car became open there in China. You jumped in that. I mean, how how was that going over? I mean, it, it's got to be pretty exciting for you the past two years. I mean, being able to do uh, you know do uh, WRC in your home country and then and following it up this year and being able to go over to China and to be able to do these overseas events that you know the past six years you really haven't been able to do. Yeah, no, it's, it's not like, you know, we, I have the best job you've never had in the world. But when you're doing the same events year on year out, it's a little bit, not, not boring, but it's, it's, it doesn't challenge you as much. So, you know, it's, it's great that I get these chances of doing different things and different opportunities, you know, like Mount Washington Hill, climb and different things like that. You know, we're so lucky with the brand that we've got. We're involved in so many different types of motorsports. So, give us a chance to, to, to stretch ourselves all the time. You know, as a driver, we never stop learning every time you get in a different type of discipline. You drive differently. Like, I, I think it's something that I've had to do with my car team to make me go faster to try and make me better in a GRC car. And then I started putting that into practice a little bit on the stage rally in the last couple of events, and we found really good time on on um, a jib the last rally when I really got it to click and feel a bit more natural. So, you know, while you might have won however many championships, it doesn't mean that you're, you're not learning and going to try things. So the more you go into a different discipline or even a different country or a different style of them, that challenges you and makes you have to think a little bit harder. Well, I know you've got to catch a flight before we get, let you go. i got to ask you, I know uh, you and uh, and your co-driver Craig D- Drew uh, recently uh, took possession of uh, some 2016 uh, WRX STIs. How many, how many sets of tires have you gone through on yours yet? Well, since I've had the car, unfortunately, I, I've, I've actually only done very, very embarrassing age, probably 120 miles. So my tires are still pretty good. <laughs> um, but the, the problem is, you know, when I'm home at the moment, I'm, I am very busy with the full casting dad. But you know, my lad Matthew's doing very well, leading his casting championship and winning races. And now my daughter, who's a bit older, she decided that she wants to race as well. So. I spend more time driving it, driving a van and fixing parts than I do getting time to, to drive the shoe. But I'm looking forward to when I get home to to go out and um, and have some fun. Yeah, well, it's got to feel you pretty pretty excited as a dad to be able to go out and watch uh, you know watch your kids kids race. It's got to be pretty fulfilling. Yeah, it's absolutely like I used to always wonder when as a driver how people can say, "Oh yeah, I've had enough and I, I don't want to drive anymore." But when you then um, What's children and certainly when they're doing well. You know, I get right to my greatest um, achievement where I felt the most proud of the team when my, when, when my boys were racing. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, David. I know uh, you got to catch your flight, but, uh, uh, you know, congrats on the Rally America Championship and uh, looking forward to seeing you out there in L- L.A. at, uh, you know, last couple of rounds for uh, Red Bull Global Rallycross. Yeah, I'm sure I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. All right, you too, my friend. Always good catching up with David Higgins. Uh, And uh, we're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be back after this on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. 
I'm Polaris rider Lee Valley Valley, and I choose Polaris just because they have the best quality, highest performing, most fun machines out there. Only one company has taken Levi Valley to 10 X Games medals, snowcross championships, a double backflip, and a world record long jump of 412 feet across the San Diego Harbor on New Year's Eve, and that company is Polaris. Whether it's dominating the X Games, racing a stock Polaris Razor XP1000 in the Terracross Championship, or just hitting the trail on the weekend, for over 20 years, Levi has relied on the same quality Polaris vehicles and products you can purchase at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of action sports legend Levi LaValle and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Are you interested in exploring Baja and no idea how to do it right? Welcome to the Legends Rally. The Legends Rally, September 23rd through the 25th, takes off-road enthusiasts on a 150-mile loop through the Pine Forest outside of Ensenada with off-road legend and Hall of Fame inductee Lightning Larry Raglan as your guide. Add in some of the best foods and wines Baja has to offer with star chef Drew Deckman and winemaker Aldo Santi, all while staying at the beautiful Horsepower Ranch, and you have the Legends Rally. Spots are limited. More information available at thelegendsrally.com. MTX Audio is the leader in sound. Whether you're looking for high-quality all-weather motorsports audio products like sound bars, amplifiers, and speakers that will work on any UTV or motorcycle, need to dial in your car or home with high-performance audio solutions, or are looking for a new portable speaker or set of headphones, MTX Audio has what you need to get your project sounding as good as it looks. MTX Audio is a family-owned American manufacturer who has been in business for over 40 years. Check out the full line of products at MTX.com. And it's best, and it's back. It's Cage Range 12, live on the river in the Blue Water Resort and Casino Showroom, Saturday, October 22nd, with live fights starting at 7 p.m. Get your $25 ringside tickets now with doors opening at 6 p.m. Or general admission tickets starting at just $15. Available online or at the gift shop. Cage Range 12, on the river. Blue Water Resort and Casino. Right on the water. Right on the money. Hey, girls, grab your friends, bring your bachelorette party, even your mom, for a smoking hot night with the mates from Thunder from Down Under. That's right, ladies, direct from Vegas. It's the Outback Fantasy Tour with the guys performing live at the Blue Water Resort and Casino Saturday, December 3rd. Two showtimes at 6 and 9 p.m. Tickets on sale now for $25 at the Blue Water Gift Shop or online at bluewaterfun.com. Must be 21 or older. Blue Water Resort and Casino. Well, I have officially heard it all on the Down and Dirty Radio Show. I, I think just an ounce of my uh, uh, my dignity just went out the window. But uh, airing uh, commercials for Thunder from Down Under on the Down and Dirty Radio Show. So, uh, man, uh, what can you say? I guess, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I know we've got, uh, I think, a good portion of our audience, like 25% of uh, of our listening, 25 to 30% of our listening audience is like 30% now, I think, is uh, is ladies. So one, thank you ladies for tuning in. And two, hey, we're, we're trying to tailor some commercials towards you, I guess. But uh, uh, there you go, man. Thunder from down under. So, uh, you, you know, I guess uh, we'll, uh, we'll run anything on the down under radio show. There you go. <laughs> but uh yeah uh kind of uh recapping on david and um uh, david and uh connor you know i, I want to run quick uh before we go to break here through uh some grc results there in seattle remember two rounds left it's a double header in la in october same weekend as uh formula drift irwindale same weekend as the blue water desert challenge so it's going to be a big big weekend tanner faust taking the victory tanner man hitting his stride late i think he's definitely a front runner for the championship followed by a couple of hondas on the podium with sebastian and yoni weeman a solid effort by them then you got scott speed steve arpin uh your top five atco they're in six deegan piquet higgins and then dine and then looking at uh 
At the lights, it was uh, Connor Martell obviously taking the victory, and then Oliver Erickson, Mickey Wextrom uh, rounding out the podium, Alejo Fernandez and Cole Keats. Alejo, man, he's had a, a rough year, man. Very talented kid. I know we've uh, been working at getting him on air maybe around L.A., but uh, a talented kid, but uh, having some struggles uh, you know, down the stretch this year. But uh, those are results uh, right now, and uh, we are going to take a short commercial break. We come back. Uh, uh, man, we've got, uh, got some more results for you. And then Joe Duncan with Terracross. All that's still to come on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When R.J. Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. RJ is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder RJ Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. And, uh, man, had uh, had uh, quite a few different series in uh, in action this past weekend. Um, big ones being the World Rallycross and Score International there in Rosarito Beach. Uh, FIA World Rallycross Championship. Um, it was all uh, Matthias Ekstrom there with, uh, with the victory. And uh, Timmy Hansen, Teamer, Teamer Zanoff uh, rounding out your podium and uh, looking at uh, RX Lights. Uh, RX lights over there with Cyril Raymond uh, with uh, with the victory. So uh, uh, big shout out to uh, to those winners. And then uh, looking at uh, some off road results score and uh, the inaugural. I'm sorry, I am not going to call this the 35th annual or uh, whatever it's uh, whatever it's called. Uh, uh, I guess 20th running of the Score Desert Challenge. Sorry, not going to go there. First annual Rosarito Challenge. From now on, on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, it's going to be known as the first annual. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. So <laughs> Aaron Ampudia taking the victory in Class 8. Cesar Fiscal uh, with a victory as well in 1600. Uh, Victor Cessna, Hector Hurtado, Mario Diaz. Um, group 2. Um, it was JT Holmes in uh, Class 7. Mark Burnett, my boy, uh, taking the UTV Force Induction victory. Uh, uh, Gregory Rowe taking uh, first in Pro UTV. Uh, then got to give a shout-out to uh, Cody Raiders. He uh, finished on the podium in, uh, in UTV as well. And then you got Juan Carlos Lopez with the victory uh, and the overall. And then Elias Hanna in Trophy Truck Spec. Uh, Juan Lopez, obviously, he was running in, uh, in Trophy Truck. And then uh, JT Holmes. Um, oh, we already got those done. Sorry, man. We're uh, repeating results here. But uh, Pro Moto was all Colton Udall with the overall there as well. So uh, I do give the score credit, man, running bikes uh, bikes and everything on this track. So uh, always uh, always cool to uh, see them, uh, you know, show the bikes a little love. But uh, those are your results from score. Sounds like it was a pretty solid event down there. Entry numbers were kind of low to begin with, and then it uh, looks like they ramped up there towards the end. So everybody I talked to said it was a cool course, and uh, everybody had a great time down there. So here, here's hoping uh, you know that finds its home on the score schedule. And uh, uh, not a very far jaunt from San Diego, you know, about a 45-minute drive. So kind of cool right across the border. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to take a short commercial break. We come back, our Terracross segment, Joe Duncan, uh, all that and more. Hi everyone, Larry Rossler here. Oh, what do we got going on Safe here craft, with Larry Rossler? Safety equipment. We've come Ah, man, Score's uh, website, uh, throwing stuff. Anyways, back after this. Uh, yeah, hey, Larry Rossler, what do you know, man? Score's website yakking at us. But uh, anyways, all that and more still to come. I'm Polaris rider Lee Valley Valley, and I choose Polaris just because they have the best quality, highest performing, most fun machines out there. 
Only one company has taken Levi Valley to 10 X Games medals, snowcross championships, a double backflip, and a world record long jump of 412 feet across the San Diego Harbor on New Year's Eve, and that company is Polaris. Whether it's dominating the X Games, racing a stock Polaris Razor XP1000 in the Terracross Championship, or just hitting the trail on the weekend, for over 20 years, Levi has relied on the same quality Polaris vehicles and products you can purchase at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of action sports legend Levi LaValle and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Need new tires? Between September 1st and October 15th, General Tire's making trails and you can receive a Visa rebate card for up to $70 with the purchase of four qualifying tires. From the ultra high performance G-Max AS03 to the all new Grabber X3 for extreme mud, dirt, and rock, General Tire has a tire that will help get you there. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com and remember, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Life is all about sound, the sound of sports, the sound of the racetrack, and the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for 15% discount the subaru wrx and wrx sti a 268 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine rockets the wrx around corners and down straightaways a race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine keeps the wrx sti a rally legend the subaru wrx and wrx sti it's not a sibling rivalry it's a tag team Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver here and... uh, we got Joe Duncan on the line from the Terracross Championship in our weekly Terracross segment. How is everything going, Joe? Things are pretty amazing, Jimmy. Pretty amazing. Just uh, getting wrapped up there from heydays and uh, getting trailers ready to be loaded and off to Camp Lejeune, Jacksonville, North Carolina for Terracross. Uh, round three, four, five coming uh, coming your way. Hey, we got. Looks like we got Brian Deegan calling in. Is this uh, this planned here, Joe? Uh, oh, let's see. Let's all see right, we got available. we got a surprise call in from uh, Brian Deegan joining Jim Beaver, Joe Duncan on the line. How's everything going, Brian? Going good. How are you? Oh, pretty good, man. I got to say, and uh, Joe's here, and, and I did an interview with Jason Ellis for this new podcast yesterday, and uh, somehow me and uh, – you're going to have to listen to it because somehow Jason and I are talking and Brian Deegan comes up, right? So we spend 20 minutes talking about Brian Deegan and all this history, and, like, um, it was actually pretty cool, man. So uh, we represented you well, but I'm just fair warning, man. If you start getting hit on a bunch of stuff on it on social media in the next week, you'll know what the heck it is because Jason and I went off talking about Brian Deegan and your kids and everything else, and it was so random. It wasn't planned, but stuff happens, dude. <laughs> cool. Hopefully uh... – yeah, no, no, it was all good, dude. All positive, I promise you that. So I know anytime you throw Ellis in the mix, it's a wild card, but it was all positive stuff. So, But, yeah, man, how's everything going? We got uh, you and Joe here, and I know uh, you were out there at Terracross, dude, and, uh, man, you and your daughter both shredding some razors out there. Yeah, we had a blast. You know, I went out there to Minnesota. It's been a long time since I've been there. I went out there to race motocross back in the day at Millville, and, uh, it was cool. 
cool to be there and see the big crowds. I mean, that heyday is a big event. And then to get to go race with my daughter, you know, it was like the first time we got to race together like that. And, you know, there's definitely a lot of, a lot of action, you know, on two wheels a lot, and a lot of crashing and ups and downs, which is, was pretty fun. Yeah. Well, I know you and I were talking at one point, you know, and you're like, man, it's, uh, you were, you were saying, you're like, I'm learning about these things. Like, you know, the thing about Terracross is those cars will go really fast, but you can't do it for very long because they almost self-destruct, you know, so it keeps you honest. Yeah, you got to be, uh, you know, be smart when you drive them. So, I mean, there's a lot of technique and, you know, different things to really learn how the car works. So, it's uh, it's fun, though. I mean, it's a great idea to come in and race. Everyone has the same cars, no advantage for anyone. And it was, uh, that's the cool part about it. Yeah. Uh, well, Joe, I know, uh, you know, I know, shoot, the surprise for me, I just saw Brian Deegan pop up on the queue, and I went, man, we got to pick this up, but uh, uh, bring us in the loop, how, how did all this uh, get set up with Brian and Haley, because I know, uh, you know, Terracross was involved in that, and Odyssey Batteries. Yeah, the Odyssey Batteries, and then uh, uh, we had some stuff set up with Odyssey, and some things were, uh, had fallen through due to some other commitments, and, uh, and then Haley was brought up and we reached out to Brian and Haley and Haley was in and Brian didn't know if he could make it. And then all of a sudden, uh, Brian's like, Hey, I'm coming. I said, Hey, do you want a car to race? And he's like, well, Brian, what'd you say? You're like, hell yeah, I'll, I'll race one of those razors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yeah. See, the problem is, I, I can tell you this already, Brian. These things get their hooks in you, and pretty soon you're going to have one built up, and you're going to have it there, and I, you're going to have a track built at your house just specifically for razors. And I know how these things work. I got involved with a brand a couple years ago, and it just steamrolls, dude. It's like it gets its hooks in you, and it's it's too easy to well, go out and have fun, man. Hey, Jimmy, yeah. I think uh, I think Brian's a little ahead of you. Polaris uh, helped him out, and uh, we actually sent one of our Terracross razors through NCY out there, my NCY Motorsports, and uh, Brian and Haley have had a had a machine and and get to get to play on one, and we're working on uh, on some more machines for them as well. Nice, nice, nice. Well, you got yeah, for sure. Uh, actually, just I was just driving it this morning. And it just rained here, so so the dirt's like perfect right now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, mm-hmm. hey Brian, you're tied to uh, you're tied to, to some companies already that that do stuff with uh with the Polaris razors. I think uh PRP seats and Gibson exhaust and uh, and a couple others that uh you already work with with your uh with your brand, don't you? Yeah, for sure. Like we have uh you know, a lot of options to fix uh the car up, but yeah, PRP makes seats. I have uh, actually a signature seat they make for these things. So I need to get that and then uh Gibson, they're actually just here yesterday helping me out with some stuff and they're good. They have Deacon 38 exhaust that came out. So uh, well, we're we're getting there. We're in this uh, starting to get into this market. And then uh, Mickey Thompson, I'm going to be working on getting some tires and wheels done. So start getting into that game too. But no, it's cool. I, I just think it's going to be a project for sure. Yeah, it's it's never ending, man. And then uh, yeah, then you get the tracks going, and then jumps get bigger and bigger, and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a ton of fun. But uh, so as far as Terracross goes, I know you were telling me out there you think Haley's going to be able to do the North Carolina round. What's uh, what's what's your uh, what's your status on the rest of the season? Uh, right now we are at home getting ready for the Lucas Oil Truck Races coming up, and then we're trying to figure out how to get out there early because we have a Haley's got like a stock car test in Charlotte. Uh, the week after the Terracross. So we're just we're just trying to figure out how to make those dates work. I I know I have to be at a at a test. So uh, I have to get you know, off code expo. And uh so I'll have to go there but I'm trying to figure out how to make it work for Haley but it's just the the dates are I'm running out of dates here in my life. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. It least, happens that way. <laughs> yeah, and then you throw in your sons and the motocross and everything else and uh man it's uh you said pack schedule for the Deegan family, dude. Yeah, it's very rare that I get much time to myself anymore, but it's really we're at the uh, racetrack almost every day. And, you know, my son's motocross. My youngest son's starting to ride, too. And then uh, Haley with her stock car stuff, off-road, karting, it's, it's, you know, throwing a rally car in there, too. It's it's crazy, but I enjoy it. I never really thought it was going to get to this, but, you know, coming from dirt bikes as a kid and, 
growing into all this is pretty cool. Yeah. So you're, what, guess... a, what an amazing, what amazing racer uh, Haley's become. I mean, she just jumped right in that razor out there, and she was she was in the top of the field. She was actually leading up there and had uh, had times with uh, you know equal to the to the top men's classes there. So they're pretty awesome. Yeah, you know, I I always think, I uh, mean, your kids are good, but you never really know until you they stack up against other people. And I think she's got a talent, you know, for driving, and we'll see. That's why we're going all the way to, you know, that's why I want to see her go do Terra Cross and then take her to the highest level of American racing, which is stock cars, NASCAR. We'll see if she can pull it off there. That would be the ultimate. Yeah, well, I think she's young enough too. You know, at this point, you know, it's it's not like she's getting a late start in her mid twenties. You know, at, at making a run at things, she's young enough. You know, that she can, you guys can put in the work and and send her through the proper training to be able to, you know, compete at that level when she gets into her twenties. Yeah, perfect, uh, perfect age. And you know, we're looking at a pro light possibly for Lucas Oil and keep her on the dirt. Uh, like I say, in the Polaris really helped us as far as driving on. Two wheels driving the thing uh, really on its edge. Its edge, it makes your comfort zone grow. So, like on the race trucks, we're pretty comfortable the way they're set up. You know, on the Polaris, makes you really become. I think mean, makes you a better driver, really. Yeah, I I completely agree, man. Well, I know. Uh... I know you're uh, busy, Joe, and I know uh, you know. I know you're busy, Brian. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, to buzz in for this uh, Terra Cross segment. And I know I'll reach out, Brian. I want to. I got an idea for this new show I've got uh, rolling. I want to get you snagged uh, snagged into something. But uh, we'll uh, we'll reach out to you later on, buddy. Awesome. Thanks for the time, and thanks for bringing us out. All right. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Thanks, Odyssey Batteries. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> later. All right. All right. See you, Jimmy. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. Bye. All right, that was Joe Duncan, Brian Deegan, and, uh, man, you never know what's going to happen on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Surprise guests all the time. We're going to take a short break. We come back, R.J. Anderson on the line. We're going to be talking 2017 Polaris Razors. Doesn't get any better than that. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host the Down and Dirty Radio Show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it, so when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands-down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP 1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris. Polaris Razor. Need new tires? Between September 1st and October 15th, General Tires making trails and you can receive a Visa rebate card for up to $70 with the purchase of four qualifying tires. From the ultra high performance G-Max AS03 to the all new Grabber X3 for extreme mud, dirt and rock, General Tire has a tire that will help get you there. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com and remember, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Since 1970, Casey Highlights has been designing and manufacturing performance lighting for off-road and motorsports. Beginning with the legendary Daylighter up until today's revolutionary Flex, Pod, and Pro 6 lighting systems, Casey Highlights offers a full line of halogen, HID, and LED lighting solutions for your off-road vehicle. Looking for the best quality lighting? Looking for the brand champions choose? You're looking for KC Highlights. Find out more information at kchighlights.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at KC Highlights. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for 15% 
percent discount. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver here, and it uh, looks like I'm joined on the line by my buddy R.J. Anderson. Uh, how's everything going, R.J.? Hey, what's going on, Jim? Man, it's it's been a nutty hour and some minutes so far. I just uh, We randomly got a call in from Brian Deegan a minute ago, and so anytime Brian randomly calls in, like I just see the call cue, and it's just Brian Deegan. I'm like, oh, we better pick Brian Deegan up. Um, but uh, it's been an entertaining show so far, and I'm sure, uh, sure things will just get cranked up a bit with you and I, but... Uh, all good, my friend. All good. All oh, right, on. Right on. No, excited to be on the show. Yeah, no, it's been uh, been a bit. I know. Uh, shoot, uh, we we're supposed to have Craig Scanlon from Polaris on air. I know he had some some trash to talk to you, so I figured I'd have to pick up the slack for Craig since uh, since he's uh, wearing the corporate hat today. But uh, uh, I saw your post, and I, I told everybody earlier on the show. I said I got to put RJ on the spot because you didn't respond when, to your Instagram post when I posted. But you were saying about the the black versus the red uh, razor, right? Which which are the new twenty seventeen yeah, turbos? I'm yeah, like, exactly. No. Uh... No, the new 2017 uh, turbo lineup was just launched the other day, and uh, a lot of buzz about it. Obviously, with the the industry leading power that it brings, and and uh, just the razor domination. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited. Desert season's coming up, and uh, that means the the good times are are ahead. So um, working on a new build, build and uh, yeah, I threw it up on the Instagram, black or red, and uh, you got a lot of black. Uh, I think you went red. I think you went red. Um, I think I'm going to have to wrap it gold or something so I don't match everyone else out there because I think so many people are going to be buying these things. But uh, yeah. I'm down for I'm down for build up. I guess I can't I can't give you too many secrets. Give you a. Uh, give you any advantage out there well i was thinking i was like you know what because joey d likes this type of stuff build offs and this and that i'm like you know you get you get us guys you know that are you, we know we're gonna get one myself you uh bryce uh renner you know i'm like it could be fun if you all have a build off and just see what we all come up with you know what i mean It'd be something like that'd be kind of cool yeah for sure for sure we're gonna have to figure out who's gonna judge the thing yeah, that's uh, well. I'll, I don't know. We'll have to. I'll have to reach out. I'll, I'll reach out to the guys at Polaris and see where we're at. You know, and see if we could actually do this. But I'm sure, Joey D would love to sanction some kind of contest or something because that's totally up his style. That's totally his style. So, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not going to let him compete though because I don't want to be running for second place. Dude, his stuff is crazy. Every time I see something Joey does, it's just like man goes back to like my favorite car he ever did i think was that king ranch you know what i mean but it's like ever since then like his stuff is just like i mean it's all blinged out and it's over the top and uh, it's just crazy like I, i'm not I, I can't compete at that level <laughs> yeah for sure he's got the he's got the build about it i think i was talking the other day and he had like six that he had to organize just for the fan show so uh he's definitely done a lot of them so um he That's definitely crazy. learned a lot quicker probably than we are doing one one or two a year. Yeah, for sure. So, question for you. I know uh, you've had an opportunity to actually drive the 2017 Razor. I know I had the opportunity and I had some some conflicts and I wasn't able to, you know, to do it. So, I, I'm asking you because I haven't been behind the wheel of one. I mean, what, what's the feedback here? I mean, the, the, last, the last Turbo was a great car, but this new one, I mean, I was looking at it just from a driver's standpoint and, uh, you know, they had 20 more horsepower, give or take, and then uh, – and I'm always one – the Razor steering has always been slow to me, right, because I'm used to speeders in the trophy truck, and I'm sure you're the same way in short course. Well, they speed that up out of the box. I mean, it's like they really are tailor-making this thing for, for a driver. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I mean, just the last three years when when people that are new to the UTV market and stuff and they're asking me about UTVs and asking me about Razors, I'd say it's honestly like a little race car in a box ready to go that you can just go buy from your dealership. and. It's, it's like that now even more than ever. Um, 168 horsepower. Insane. I mean, from the first time I drove a Razor till now, how fast they've progressed and where we're at. I mean, 200 horsepower isn't very far away at this point. I mean, I think the first Razor was like around 
60 horsepower, 50 something horsepower. So, I mean, we've got up over a hundred horsepower in less than 10 years. So I don't think 200 is very far, far away, but, um, yeah, the new turbo is, is insane. When I got to go out and, and drive one, um, driven them a couple different times now. And it's, it's crazy. The power, especially in the sand dunes. I mean, um, it's almost like you don't even need to be wide open throttle. And once you're in the dunes and you start going uphill, you just give that little bit extra and, uh, and you hear the turbo whine and it's, it's badass. And the, the updated cooling system, they did an awesome job with that. Uh, I had to go drive it. It was about 105 degrees out in, in the sand dunes and took it, took it like a champ. So, uh, really excited. And yeah, I, in a lot of my cars, I've actually ran a, a speeder box as well. So the quicker steering in the new cars is, is killer for guys like us that are already, that are already used to that kind of upgrade. So, um, it's really cool. I like, a. I like 2017 platform. I can't wait to get my hands on my own. Yeah. Well, I, I got to say, you know what I find funny is, is like, it, it seems like, you know, and I want to ta- ask you about this new XP1K build you've got, but like you did the original XP1K build, what were you, like three years ago or whatever. That thing was crazy. You had this crazy engine in there. I think Croyer built it maybe, uh, you know, and it was just this wild engine. And now, and that was because the original XP1000, I mean, the horsepower was what it was. You had to do that. Well, now we're getting into these turbos and now this new turbo. And I got to ask you, like, on this new build, like, we're getting so much horsepower from the factory. It seems like the builds, as far as, like, the engine and stuff, have really been pretty tame because the stock engine will pretty much do what you want, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I think that's the first car that um, that we built with, with Corridor XP1K car, um, we turboed it, and it was it was right when the thousands just came out. Um, so it was like the first of its kind, and it it had uh, depending on how much boost we were putting to it, it had just over 200 horsepower. It could go up to about 230. Um, but yeah, now with them coming bone stock, right under 170. I mean, you throw a couple small things on it, so tune some exhaust, and you're already right about where we worked so hard and spent so much money to do just a couple of years ago. So it's pretty crazy that it's evolved that fast in such a short amount of time. But yeah, for sure. I mean, for what I'm doing with the videos and stuff, it's got plenty of horsepower as is. Yeah. Well, I got to ask you, you know, tell us a little bit more about this build. Cause I, I haven't seen a build breakdown. I don't know if you can even talk about it. I know it was on display there at sand sports show, but uh thing looks, uh, looks pretty rad. I know the guys have had it wrapped up for a while now. Uh, but, uh, you know, take it, take us through that thing. I mean, it, what's, uh, anything different than the previous builds or, uh, are you just, you know, kind of, kind of going to the strengths of the new platform? Yeah. So, I mean, XC, XC1K4 basically uh, starts as soon as XC1K3 was done. So, uh, been, uh, been working on it slowly, but surely. And, uh, was stoked that the car made it out to the sand sports show this last weekend and, uh, people got to check it out and see that, uh, what's coming. So, um, small glimpse of it uh can't uh can't release too much information of course on it but uh yeah i'm stoked we did a we did a center seat car just try to do some things up a little bit different for uh for what we're trying to do for for this project and and just change it up a little bit change it up with the colors and and the build itself i got i'm stoked i got uh i got myself an ipad in in the cockpit now so um and i'm waiting for the guys to, to yeah I got, i'm waiting for them to set up the cameras i could be uh i could be playing games and stuff inside the car so that's a, that's a pretty cool feature for me <laughs> what's the, uh, and i know a lot of the desert guys run ipads and they run you know gps and all kinds of stuff on them what i mean in an xp1k video what what is uh, the purpose of an ipad what are you doing like surfing utv underground or something like that like <laughs> i'm like no <laughs> yeah, joe yeah, no. he's gonna put an ipad in there and have you, you know utv and have rj on the forum in the video or something you know <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm gonna be yeah, watching youtube videos in there but uh no, um, yeah, exactly. So like we could do GPS. I mean, um, so I could do big readouts for, you know, some of the stunts, uh, mile an hour is a big thing, you know, uh, for knowing how fast to go and stuff like that. So we're going to use it for, for some stuff like that. Um, mile an hour readouts and, and stuff like that. So, and it, and it's just cool, you know, we're trying to build the ultimate razors in these, in these things. And, uh, if you don't put the best of the best in them, they're not the ultimate razor, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. You talk about that. I had uh, a guy when I was out at Heydays a week ago, he came up and he searched me out and uh, he wanted to pick my brain, but he's got this new thing and it, it, it's an app and it's not available in the app store, but he wanted, uh, he gave me a beta invite and I haven't had it out in my razor yet, but it's an app you download into your phone and it basically takes, uh, takes all the, you know, the, all the crazy tech that's in an iPhone that can read like G forces and all this other stuff. And uh, it, it basically is an app. And, and so when you're in a razor or you're on a dirt bike or, or whatever, or in like the trophy truck, 
um, you 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 basically have that in there, and when you get out, it can read all the G forces on the body and all this other cool tech and data and stuff like that. I haven't had a chance to try it out. I've got the beta invite, and I, I want to download it, but I was like, man, that's kind of rad to be able to literally at your fingertips now on an iPhone have all that data there. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not sure if we have anything like that, but that sounds like it's pretty cool. It's that's crazy to have right at your uh, right at your fingertips for sure. Yeah, I've I've got the dude's contact info. I'll I'll set you up with him and because uh, you, you like he I know he like had me and Jolene Van Viewed and a couple others like he was searching out. But I'm sure like you know he give you a beta invite. So I'm like that'd be cool just to see that stuff. You know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it'd be kind of cool to see. You know how, you know so I don't know. He's got like a plan with like this whole social media platform and you know how you can go into competition with your friends. Like oh I pulled more G forces than you today and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's kind of a cool idea, anyways. Yeah, that is pretty rad. I have a feeling I could win the G-Force competition for sure. Dude, I'm not even going to go into competition <laughs> with you. <laughs> not even, not even going to attempt it, man. You you can have that. I got to ask you, uh, I saw there was something, some guy, and I know at one point you were the, the Razor World Record holder as far as long distance jump. There's a guy who was just doing some test jumps at like 213 feet yesterday. I think uh saw it on Facebook yesterday or something like that. I mean, it's crazy how far these Razor distance jumps are getting. I mean, is there, any, is there any plans in the back of your mind to, to go after that, or is that like an XP 1K4 thing, or is it something you're just not even interested in at this point? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely – I think we kind of did our job with that. I mean, when the UTV jump, world record jumps first got started, it was almost kind of a joke. Like, uh, I think someone held the record at some point for like 41 feet or, or something like that, and we were, you know, we were going 100 feet just in, in racing – conditions so uh so that was kind of the goal when we first started x21k videos is we knew that there was going to be a lot of eyes on on the video so uh we're like well for our first video let's do a world record jump let's not blow it out of the water you know but let's go quite a bit and uh get people interested in it so i think we went just about 130 feet which was cool and it did exactly what uh what we wanted it to people started coming back and so when uh we did x21k2 we went um 170 feet just over 170 feet and so uh, that was pretty rad and pretty big. In a, in a UTV that's only 10 feet long, uh, 170 feet is uh, is, a, is a long ways. So um, that's jumping, basically jumping itself 17 times. So uh, it's a long ways in a razor to jump. And uh, now that people are, are going after that and it's gotten some traction, uh, I don't know. You know, um, I think the hard part for me is it takes, it takes so much time and energy and uh, – if you're going out to do a world record jump, I think that takes a lot of just in itself to make sure you're playing and everything's right because it's crazy. I mean, um, just one or two mile an hour, how much, how fast things can change. I mean, uh, the way the you hit the ramp, the way the suspension reacts, uh, the way aerodynamics work. So it's a there's a lot of testing and stuff that needs to go into that stuff. And for what we're trying to achieve in um, in our videos, it's just hard to pull off all that time because basically we're we did our world record jump in like a couple hours. I mean, we did yeah. it within one day. So uh, nice. I think to go after it correctly and, and for what how big these guys are going now, um, we have to put more time into it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's going to be kind of insane. It's like an old project in itself. But, hey, can you hang tight? we got a commercial break, but I want I got a couple questions for you after the break. I'd love to, love to ask if you got the time. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be here. All right, sounds good. We're going to put you on hold. We'll pick you up in a second. We'll be back on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it, so when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands-down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris. Polaris Razor. Life is all about sound. The sound of sports. The sound of the racetrack. 
and the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. MTX Audio is the leader in sound. Whether you're looking for high-quality all-weather motorsports audio products like sound bars, amplifiers, and speakers that will work on any UTV or motorcycle, need to dial in your car home with high-performance audio solutions, or are looking for a new portable speaker or set of headphones, MTX Audio has what you need to get your project sounding as good as it looks. MTX Audio is a family-owned American manufacturer who has been in business for over 40 years. Check out the full line of products at MTX.com. Since 1970, Casey Highlights has been designing and manufacturing performance lighting for off-road and motorsports. Beginning with the legendary Daylighter up until today's revolutionary Flex, Pod, and Pro 6 lighting systems, Casey Highlights offers a full line of halogen, HID, and LED lighting solutions for your off-road vehicle. Looking for the best quality lighting? Looking for the brand champions choose? You're looking for KC Highlights. Find out more information at kchighlights.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at KC Highlights. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. A 268 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. It's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor, Jim Beaver, and uh, I guess my Polaris Razor teammate, RJ Anderson, on the line talking uh, some Polaris Razors and a whole lot more. I want to talk some short course at you, but uh, I got I got to tell you before uh, before we do that, dude, uh, your cousin Shelby, I am absolutely impressed with this girl. Like I met her last year at Terracross, I think, in San Diego, and she was doing pretty well. But in to see how far she's progressed as a driver in just 12 months, dude, she is so freaking fast. It's crazy. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, yeah, she's been killing in the razor. So uh, she started out doing the trophy card stuff. Actually, when I um, when I moved on from trophy cards nine or so years ago and started doing the razor stuff, um, she, we let her jump in my trophy cart and start uh, start driving it. So that's where she started about eight or nine years ago doing trophy card stuff, and then um, kind of we kind of transformed her into doing the the razor stuff and so yeah it's crazy to see now uh she's killing it and it's awesome to have uh to have girls in the sport and i think she's uh she's one of the better ones for sure um especially with the results she's been having and the success she's been having or even racing the guys she doesn't even typically in terracross races the women's class but everywhere else she just races right with the boys yeah, well, and even in Terracross, they've got this new deal now this year where it, they, they have a main event that pits the men versus the women, right? And uh, her and Sarah Price ended up taking two of the three podium spots in that race out there at Heydays. And I'm like, man, what's this tell you? Like, I guess the women's division needs to go away. It's crazy. Yeah, 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 that is that is crazy. Um, yeah, her and Sarah are both really good, uh, really good drivers. So it's uh, it's cool for sure seeing um, – and the women in our sport have a uh, have some success, and uh, I think it uh, I think it'll definitely help uh, grow the future of of off road in general. Yeah, for sure, definitely, uh, definitely all good stuff. And shoot, and we haven't even mentioned. I, it's a, there's one Anderson I haven't even had on the show yet is uh, your brother Ronnie, and I know he's doing pretty darn well for himself too. And that's another guy I need to reach out to and get him on air. But uh, you know, I think he's doing a little short course, a little razors. He's kind of bouncing all over the grid. I think he's going to do some tear across this year too, from what I understand. Yeah, for sure. No, he's in. Uh, He's been crushing it, so he's had uh, some success this year in works, and then his, uh, he stepped into my uh, pro light from last year, and he's been he's been killing it. I think he's uh, I think he's like sixth or seventh in points right now, and uh, it's awesome for his rookie year. He's uh, he's doing really good. He's already landed on the podium uh, in Glen Helen this year, so two racing twenty of some of the fastest dudes in short course, and and already uh, showing that much speed is uh, is is rad. I'm super stoked for him and to have him uh, under our tent and and our program. So, uh, 
I'm uh, I'm super stoked. Uh, he's killing it, and he's only uh only 16 years old. He just got his license like uh, a couple crazy. months ago, two or three months ago. He just got his license, so I've been using him up on that uh, picking up parts and stuff for me. But he's uh he's still <laughs> in high school, but he's crushing it on the track for sure. And yeah, he'll be uh, he'll be at the next Terracross race too. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about you and short course. I know, uh, you know, there for a while you were kind of double dipping running uh, pro light pro two and, uh, kind of, you know, you passed on the pro light program, you know, to your brother and, and now, you know, you running, uh, running kind of the big leagues, so to speak. I mean, uh, it seems like the program, you guys have, uh, got it pretty dialed this year. I mean, you know, you've got some victories and podiums and things like that. I mean, uh, you know, pro two is just a tough, tough division, man. There's some really good, talented drivers and teams there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, the way I look at it is when you start talking about Pro 2 is um, there's so many fast guys. I mean, you got Rob Rob McCachron, Bryce Menzies, Carl Renazetter, Brian D. And, I mean, that's four guys right off the bat that have all won multiple, more than one championship in just the Pro 2 division alone. And they're expected to win. That's what they get paid from their sponsors to go do is is, is win. So to, to be a new guy into the class and um, – to battle with the legends, I mean, right there, fifth place is, is like almost a good finish, you know, right behind those guys. But uh, that's definitely not what we go there for. It's fifth, and we've been having a killer year for sure with uh, a lot of podiums. And I'm sitting second in points right now, so it's uh, me and my Rockstar teammate, Rob Max, in front of me. Um, so we've been crushing it for sure, and uh, I'm stoked to be having a good year. I think we've learned a lot um, and and carrying the momentum and even more excited for, for 2017 and hopefully uh, – Hopefully the 2017 Pro 2 Championship is ours. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of fast forward to 2017. So we're going to see you uh, just Pro 2, Pro 2, and Pro 4. I've heard kind of rumors of all kinds of stuff. What's 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 the status with RJ next year? Yeah, so I'm actually uh, working on a, on a press release now. So uh, I think it's dropping this Thursday, actually. So let me, I'll let you guys know a little bit of uh, what the 2017 plans hold. So I got a lot of exciting stuff, not only with, you know, the X and K videos and, and the short course program, but just, just in general, dropping some uh, some news on Thursday. So it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm super stoked about it. Nice. We'll definitely be looking uh, looking out for that. I gotta gotta tell you, I, I'm digging uh, digging the Pro Two body you got on your truck going to going to the Razor body. I think it's uh, it's kind of genius, man. I, I would have never even thought about that. That's uh, it's really really cool. It gives your truck a whole different look, man. No, I was stoked on it for sure too. Um, in the off season, I worked hard with the guys at Lucas Oil. I mean, uh, I understand where our roots are from. You know, we're racing, we're racing trucks, and and Razor doesn't make a truck. But right now, in in the point we are with our with our sport, there's no real um, factory backing from any of these guys: Ford, Chevy, Dodge. I mean, no one's coming in and helping helping grow this thing and, and like they could or should be doing. So the guys like Polaris Razor are the only people that are, you know, sponsoring the Mint 400 and, and guys like me and helping grow the sport. So um, I finally was able to, to get it approved, you know, and, and run, in a, run in a razor. I don't, I don't really want to rep for, you know, Ford or Chevy or any of these guys that aren't really supporting what we're doing out there. So I'm still so – a lot of people don't get it. They're like, uh, what kind of front end is that or, or stuff like that. But when I explain it to them, they, they always get it. And so, um, you know, the amount of support the players give, you know, off-road in general is – it's killer, so I'm stoked to stoked to run the body for sure. A lot of people dig it. Yeah, well, that's that being said, shoot, you're you're speaking preaching to the choir here, man. If it wasn't for Polaris Razor, I wouldn't be where I'm at, you know. And they've got a knack for you know taking guys and and you know, and I pitch them ideas and things like that, and they, and they'll help take you to the next level, you know. If you got a good idea, they they're like, yeah, let's do it, let's run with it, you know. And uh, there's not a lot of companies that'll do that, you know. And Polaris Razor is definitely one of them. Oh yeah, for sure. No, nothing but great things to say about those guys they're uh definitely wouldn't be where i'm at either what they've done for me and my family is is awesome and uh i'll for sure always have have their back yeah i gotta ask you before uh before i let you go man um craig scanlon's new uh his new holes built uh holes built razor uh i i haven't i've talked a little bit to craig about it but i want to get your your insight dude i i was watching this build and craig was sending me pictures and things like that this thing uh, it's like full on like class one razor build, man. I mean, how was that thing to wheel? Jeez, I mean that thing is by far the nicest desert car out there um, right now. I mean the the weight, the power, everything on it is just 
second to none. Um, he worked with uh, Mark Holtz and Bill Nitt and, and just his whole program, his chase trucks, his, his race car, everything is, is top notch. So he went he went all in on this, and I'm stoked that, uh, that he's having me help him out a little bit and, and hopefully get my, my feet wet on some desert racing. But, yeah, the car is just phenomenal. I mean, they went out, I think, testing it the other day, and they had the thing running over 90 mile an hour. So uh, it's definitely um, – <laughs> the UTVs are coming. I mean, uh, people are saying that they're, you know, it was basically mini class 10 cars now, and it's probably not long before we start passing class 10. So, uh, so um, no, the thing is just insane. That people have to be on on the lookout for that. Uh, for for Craig's car in 2017, it's a uh, it's a really nice car. Yeah, I agree. It's like I've got this desert razor we're building here, and like I keep looking at the budget and things like that. And I'm like, oh, this would be a fun, inexpensive way to go desert racing. You know, where I'm not, you know, at some of the events where I'm not spending trophy truck dollars. I'm looking at this going, we're spending trophy truck dollars building this razor. Like, where where is this becoming inexpensive at? You know? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's just yeah. It's just like anything. It is always a always a cost you could do it for cheap but why when you could do it like that you know well then, then you're pissed off at yourself because you're you know you're you know minutes off the pace in a desert race and then you end up spending that money anyway so you're better off just doing it right the first time and and rolling with it right <laughs> oh definitely definitely uh racing's fun but winning's even more fun right yeah exactly so man i appreciate you taking the time to to call in rj i know uh, you're busy with uh short course this weekend and uh you know and uh, you know out there at elsinore and uh good luck this weekend man and uh looking forward to that press release dropping on thursday yeah right on thanks thanks for having me on the show and uh yeah, you know, hopefully uh, you have good luck with your desert build, and maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll see you out there next year. Yeah, for sure. We're uh, we're supposed to have it. Uh, well, like you said, we got a press release coming like in the next week. So, <laughs> but yeah, oh, we'll, right we'll definitely be out for uh, a lot of races next year. So uh, in the razors. So uh, yeah, lots lots coming, man. Right on. Well, sounds good. I'll I'll catch up with you guys soon. All right, sounds good. Thanks, RJ. Yep. See ya. Bye. All right, that was RJ Anderson, uh, factory. Uh, Factory Polaris Razor driver and, uh, you know, Lucas Oil driver, guy from behind XP1K. Just, uh, dude, he is all over the grid. Uh, easiest, way to, easiest way to put it, man. RJ uh, all over the grid and um, just a cool, good dude. I, I have a lot of fun with him, and we've interviewed him so many times on the show. You know, he's, uh, I don't know, you get uh, kind of a rapport with a guy and stuff like that. But, uh, oh, man, he, uh, he shreds. He absolutely um Absolutely shreds in a razor. Uh, you know, missed him out there at uh, Hades Terracross. Um, but uh, sounds like he's going to be back for uh, some of the rounds uh, coming up and uh, uh, run some work stuff. Looks like we're going to see him in the desert. Obviously, he's got his uh, Pro 2 program and hopefully sounds like uh, maybe doing a little Pro 4 next year. So, uh, I don't know. Lots coming. But a uh, kid that uh, eats, sleeps, breathes Polaris Razor, uh, that's for sure. But, uh, man, uh, always uh, always good to catch up with RJ Anderson and uh, – and uh, how about those 2017 Polaris Razors? Uh, you know, and and like we just heard RJ tell you, man, these things, uh, you know, Polaris, what they did, they went back. I don't want to say they went to the drawing board, but they, they had a phenomenal car in the 2016 XP Turbo. First year for the Turbo, have a phenomenal car. And then they take that after one year. Most most manufacturers be, just be happy. And, and they just keep pumping them out, pumping them out, pumping out Polaris. No, we don't, we don't work that way. Okay, so we've got an amazing car that's already leading the market. So how do we make that even better? So they go, cooling system, we could upgrade this. This is something people have had some problems with. Not problems, but it's something that, uh, um, you know, that, that could be better. So they go in all-new cooling system. Uh, what happens? Well, sometimes people have some clutch issues. And we're not talking to everybody, but once in a while there's clutch issues. What do we do? Redo the clutch of venting, and we put a bigger belt in there. Uh, horsepower. Well, we can do more horsepower. Everybody likes more horsepower, more horsepower. So, uh, performance driving guys, what do they like? Oh man, they like quick steering. You know, RJ and myself, we like quick steering. Oh, well, we'll just put a, a speeder in there, uh, from the factory. Uh, you know, they literally, they took this car and, uh, they took the 2016 one and basically perfected everything that, I, I don't want to say that was wrong with the 2016 model, but everything that, uh, um, everything that not even that was a weak link, just anything that people were upgrading from the, you know, already upgrading, they just basically all in with it and, and did it. You know, it's crazy, just crazy, man. But, uh, um, awesome to be a part of a company like Polaris Razor and, uh, see where they're headed, man. It's, it's definitely, uh, 
all all good stuff. But uh, thanks to RJ for calling in. And uh, man, I got to tell you, it's uh, <laughs> been a been a fun one so far. So we're going to take a short commercial break here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. And uh, when we come back, we got uh, we got to wrap things up here. Uh, yet another edition of the Down and Dirty Radio Show. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to wrap things up here in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable, race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When RJ Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. RJ is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder R.J. Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Life is all about sound. The sound of sports. The sound of the racetrack. And the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Uh, Jim Beaver here, wrapping things up on uh, yet another edition of the Down and Dirty Radio Show. Thanks to all of you for tuning in and uh, keeping us uh, one of your favorite motorsports uh, radio shows in the country. I know we do a little things a little bit different, but uh, uh, always, uh, you know, always appreciate the support. All of you that uh, you know tune in on iTunes or back episodes or on Sports Byline or anywhere else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, those of you uh, with a new show, uh, you can always uh, always tune in at uh, always tune into the new show. Uh, you know, there at uh, Podcast One uh, on their website. Uh, we're available on iTunes now. Please uh, rate, subscribe, download, 
and uh, my website and then uh, Podcast One app. So uh, thanks for that. Uh, those of you looking for some coupon codes, Dirtfish, use the code JBDIRTFISH, 15% off your order, or MTX.com. The code is Beaver, B-E-A-V-E-R. Uh, that'll give you uh, 10% off at MTX.com. We've got Lucas Oil this weekend, Endurocross in Phoenix. We've got some Formula Drift coming up in Phoenix. Lots going on. And, uh, man, it's uh, couldn't do it without our great sponsors, Polaris Razor, General Tire, Subaru, KC Highlights, Gibson Exhaust, Dirtfish, MTX, Impact, Terracross, Blue Resort and Casino. Big shout-out to Brian Deegan, Joe Duncan, R.J. Anderson, Connor Martell, uh, David Higgins, uh, you know, and all of you who tune in each and every day, give me a follow. It's at Jim Beaver 15 on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Jim Beaver on Facebook. We changed that this week. And uh, at Amy Hood, uh, she'll be back next week, uh, at Amy Hood 71 on Instagram and Twitter. Downandirtyshow.com. Download that app. And, uh, man, I appreciate, uh, appreciate uh, all of you guys, everything you do. Uh, be safe. And uh, if you ever have any questions, be sure and tweet me. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, tweet me. Use the contact form on the website. I'm easy to get a hold of. Let me know. And uh, don't forget, we got that, uh, that new show, uh, the new Project Action Show, uh, with the new episode with, uh, uh, with Jason Ellis. Man, losing my train of thought here at the end with Jason Ellis do- debuting this Thursday. Make sure and download it. And, uh, man, we will see you guys uh, next week.